OK, so the Duke and Duchess of Woke, Harry and Meghan, are once again making headlines for all the wrong reasons. In a new Netflix special released yesterday, US comedian Chris Rock, whom you may remember as the target of Will Smith's infamous Oscars slap, hilariously went after the Montecito moaners for their unsubstantiated racism claims in the infamous Oprah Winfrey interview. Watch this. That she went through was not racism. It was just some in-law <laughs> so she's complaining. I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? The Oprah, they're so racist. They wanted to know how brown the baby was gonna be. They're so racist. They wanted to know how brown the baby's gonna be. I'm like, that's not racist. Cause even black people wanna know how brown the baby gonna be. <laughs> right, well, I love Chris Rock. That jive is the latest evidence that Harry and Meghan have fallen out of favour both here in the UK and in the US. After only last month, the pair were seemingly snubbed from Oprah's belated birthday celebration. Now, elsewhere, Harry has also received a very strong backlash for promoting the regular use of marijuana consumption. So, with all of that in mind, have the Sussexes lost all credibility? As always... I want to get your thoughts, so email dan at gbnews.uk or tweet me at gbnews. There's also a poll running there. Make sure you take part in that because I'll be bringing you the results in just a matter of moments. But first, to help you make up your mind, I'm joined by Prince Harry's biographer. It's Angela Levin and the author and journalist Nina Mishkov as well. OK, Nina, I will start with you. You're in shot. We don't have to move cameras. So, have Harry and Meghan lost all credibility? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Chris Rock makes a couple of jokes, mm. which aren't strictly correct. Oh. In that Oprah interview, they didn't claim that the royal family were racist. And in fact, in later um, footage, they've said it was unconscious bias. So they've never right. said it was racist. Are we splitting hairs here? No, we're not splitting hairs, because it makes a huge yes, difference. You. you don't call them racist. You, you, you say later it's unconscious bias. Unfortunately, though, as a result of what they said, there was mm. a big, quote, royal racism row. So what they but, said did lead to... Go on. Yeah, later in the interview, though, um, Meghan said that she knew that Camilla had a difficult time when she joined the royal family. She knew that Catherine had a difficult time. But neither of them had as difficult a time as she had because of the racism. That word is in. That word is in. But she was talking about the racism of the press. She was talking about the racism of the press when, when, when there was that um, so. um, straight out of Compton thing. There was all of that. She didn't actually say racism in relation to the royal family. How and do it's, you and it's know? The press is, she didn't say it on that documentary. She did. She did not. She well. said racism. In, honestly, this okay. is ridiculous. The th trouble is, Angela, you are one of the mouthpieces that Harry ah. has talked about. Well, hang on a minute. Are you... Calling her racist? No, I'm not calling her racist at all. I'm, of course I'm not calling you racist, Angela. I'm saying that Harry has made it clear that we've always thought the royal family never complain, never explain. Mm -hmm. But the way they do it is through various journalists. And you're one of those journalists. No, I'm did, not. Oh, come on. You've Absolutely written book, you've not. Written the, 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 so you have no contracts with the royals? I don't have any contact with them when I'm writing a book on the biography. Oh, but you're not writing but a, I, you're not writing but a I book. But I did with Camilla. Where do you, where do you, I... where do you get your, your well, sources I'm not going to tell you that. Well, that's I mean, you have contacts me. who have oh, royal no, 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 We are veering no, slightly no. off. We yeah. are veering <clears> slightly <throat> off. And I'll bring you in. Now, from where I'm sitting, it would appear clearly that Harry and Meghan are not exactly particularly popular with the royal family. They are, as the polls will tell you, not massively popular with the British public. They are not massively popular with the American public. South Park are taking the mickey out of them. Comedians are taking the mickey out of them. They're not being invited to Oprah's birthday bash. Is it fair to say that, frankly, they've screwed it all up? Yes, I think they have. They could have been extremely helpful. They could have done things great things when they were in the royal family. The, the but the Queen royal family and, pushed hang them on, out. Hang on. The, the Queen liked them. Prince Charles liked them, then Prince Charles, and Camilla liked them. They thought she was really going to be a breath of fresh air, mm. and they tried very hard to make life easier for her. The fact that she didn't like it, that was unfortunate. But they could have gone to countries to actually do charity. What do they do? They but don't. They moan and groan. This is what, before yes, I go I'm see sure it, is it, it is. terminal now? Because can they actually resurrect themselves in the views of anyone? Yes, everything's gone downhill. It's like as if they've been sitting in a sieve, and everything that, that people thought was very important Mm. about them has gone through because they are um, 
professional moaners and they're actually not helping other people. They're not moaning. They are not moaning. Harry has said in his most more, recent thing... Say that to me are, one more time, that moaning. Harry is not moaning. Ha Harry has said he does not feel himself to be a victim. All he has done has been initially to defend himself and his wife because of the attacks of the British press. They, the, the palace, via people who portray what they th want to have said, okay. um, you, have constantly you... drip drip, 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 drip of poison from well, the I moment. Just, can I just say, Nina, uh, uh, there's wait, one wait. element to that. There's one element, respectfully, Nina, there's one thing that I think doesn't demand what you've said there, mm. which is Harry and Meghan have had an unfiltered opportunity through Netflix, through his own book and through the Oprah interview to have completely their side of the story put across. And that, actually, is the things that have made them the most unpopular. So they have done but, it to but, themselves. But, but, but how can you have somebody, somebody books have, and have a grown sold? man... How three, can you have points someone points who is a grown man who goes on television and says how helpful drugs have been to him? Now, anybody who actually supports him might think, if he's doing it, I might he's do talk, it. He's I mean, talking, it's very, he's very talking about dangerous. a psychotherapy. Go on, Nina, go on. He's talking about... His, his psychological experiences. And he's perfectly entitled to say that. Is he's he? talking... Yes, he is. He's entitled About to say what drugs. he likes. But he, he can say what he likes. He can absolutely say what he likes. It is his experience. He's, I mean, he, he, he's talking about... In a, in a controlled situation, they help. Those drugs help. But he does but know he, that a lot the, of his audience, a lot of the people who do apparently still like him, are the kind of younger, maybe more woke brigade. You could argue the more susceptible people to recreational drug use, and and that can cost lives. Yes, exactly. But also, when you're grown up, he's 38 now. You have a responsibility as an adult to be careful about what you say. He comes from the most privileged background, and he's being so rude about people. He's crushing into their rude person. Rude about who? Yes, he's rude been about rude who? about his brother. I don't think not rude we need to know he's, that his brother he's, was he's, circumcised. He's, he's, let, let me just finish. That's let not me just rude. finish. They, you don't think it's a, rude. That's a fact. No. Oh, well, well, just sorry, did you say about, he about he what was it about? circumcised. Right. I don't think that that's a necessary part of his oh, own He's, um, he's allowed to talk about I don't his own experiences, his life, his family. But it's not an experience. That's just digging into someone's privacy. story. Of those 400 pages, which are fascinating read, beautifully written, and... Well, he I, didn't write them. I know he no, He's got a brilliant ghostwriter, the ghostwriter who, did, uh, who wrote Andrea Gassi. We I all know that. But his, but his memories and his thoughts make it a fascinating read. And, th th you know, the, 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 the ridiculous thing is they were pushed right. out by the royal family because no, they, they, were, they were too popular. They were more popular Nonsense. than Charles, more popular than Wills and Kate. And for the royal... For the machinery of okay. majesty to go on, they, they, they need to be pushed aside. Okay. And they were. What do you... Just time for one final round on this big non-royal tour that we're doing at the minute. And uh, what do you make of the suggestion that they are not going to be keeping Frogmore Cottage because William, our future king, supposedly doesn't want Harry anywhere near the royal circle Petty. there... Absolutely. Because he thinks, he's a, because he's, he thinks he's a risk a and because he doesn't want him around the kids. Yeah, well, I think that's right. Because around in, kids? Hang on what do you a mean minute. By that? Let me explain. Let me explain. Can, 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 can I ask No, about you can't. Can. No, I can no. ask. I want no. to know why he's saying. Why are you reportedly, implying children? Reportedly, because he doesn't want the influence. This is just a what sort of influence is that? That's a terrible implication. Nobody has mentioned that about children. How could Prince Harry be a bad influence? The influence would be, and this is, again, just reportedly, the influence would just be in terms of what he's been talking about in the press, whether or not it's a drug Can use, Can I have cetera. a go? Yes. Yeah, two things. He said in an interview just before his book came out mm. that he wanted to fix the royal family. He knew best how to get it to run mm. because they think it's a very bad thing. The other thing is he wants to co-bring up William's children because he doesn't want them to end up like him. This is what he said. Now, I think that's appalling. If someone wanted that's, to do that about it, I mean, my children, on. I wouldn't let them anywhere near it because children can be very um, interested in what he says and they can okay. turn oh, their you're, way. You're, you're turning him into some kind of 
some kind of person who is dangerous around I children. think he is that's dangerous. A, oh, that's an outrageous thing to say. No, it isn't. The trouble with you, Angela, is that the royal family to you is the golden goose, and you are not going to kill the golden goose, i.e. the royal family. So you, you, you want them well, to you keep on Well, you don't know me. This is the first time you've okay. ever met me. What's I've read What's a point, what a point when to she, end things, ladies? When Angela okay. wrote her book... I'll tell you what, I didn't sign up to get in the middle of this. <laughs> right, look, both of you know, thank you very much. No, but that's what it's all about, OK? Strong views either side. Much appreciated. It's Prince Harry's biographer, Angela Levin, and the author and journalist, Nina Mishkop, who I think it's fair to say are never going to agree on this. So, who do you agree with, though? As Chris Rock becomes the latest Hollywood celebrity to mock the Sussexes, have Harry and Meghan lost all credibility? And Wardy on Twitter says, totally lost credibility. It's about time the Sussexes just started doing this privacy thing they've apparently long craved. John on Twitter says, of course they have credibility. They have credibility. OK, fair enough. The media has demonised Harry you. and Meghan. There you go. We've got Thank a fan you. of Nina in. We've got a fan of Nina in. Demonise Harry and Meghan, and it's very unfair. Michael on Twitter says, you can't lose what you never had. <laughs> they never had credibility in the first place. <laughs> and your verdict is now in... Sorry, Nina. 94% of you agree that the Sussexes have lost their credibility. Well, 6% of you say they haven't. Right, OK, well, we're